I've had a lot of down roads as well as up roads. But uh, I think you've got to, in life, you have to go through and, and uh, take your lumps. You learn, you don't learn necessarily by doing everything right, you learn by making mistakes. At the time I was 20, 21 years old, I was wandering around one weekend and I went out to the airport and I called my dad up to see if he would send me some money for a flying lesson. He said, no, he says, go get a job and, and, and fly yourself. So I went out and I watched an airplane out there and the guy gave me a ride and it was such a sense of freedom that uh, I would just felt like immediately in love with it. So I did some work out at the airport there and, and ended up getting my license. And ever since that time, my life is kind of uh, centered in one way or another around uh, aviation. My father worked for a company selling chemical equipment. He worked very hard. We struggled. We lived in a little house in uh, Seattle. Even though it was a very loving family, it was a little bit dysfunctional. My mother was deaf when I was, uh, uh, when I was young. But uh, then when I got to be about six or seven, she got these, she used to carry these big batteries around. And uh, she could hear, sometimes it was kind of a tinny hearing, she said. And my father, he stuttered quite a bit and uh, had a speech impediment. I used to see him when he'd give speeches and things and watch him, he'd start stuttering, you know, and I felt, you know, I felt kind of sorry for him. And so between the two situations, it was uh, kind of difficult, hard to communicate sometimes. I didn't do very well in school. Maybe it was because of my communications at home, but I, I struggled in school. I remember it was kind of a lonely time for me, but uh, I learned to live through that. I think sometimes in life, it's uh, yeah, luck is better than brains because I th I've had a lot of luck. I was introduced to Bill Lear at a very young age. He kind of took me under his wing. No did not exist in his vocabulary. So I went up in this Learjet and I was just absolutely astounded. I mean, for me, it was like going to the moon. In the 70s, my next move was starting an airline with a fella. I said, I got a lot of ideas and you've got the money. Let's start this airline. That was my first kind of real success, I think, in the aviation business. I don't judge my success by what other people think. I, I judge it inwardly. And, and I think success to me is, is doing something to be able to leave some footprints. Horatio Alger Association member, Joseph Joe Clark.